Okay, first thing, a few uh, procedural announcements. Um, first procedural announcement, kind of a little outside, well, no, not entirely outside the topic of this course, but um, um, I think at least some people in this room are going to be job searching soon. All of you will hopefully be job searching eventually, successfully, hopefully. <laughs> One way that you can really help to ensure that your job search is successful, especially starting now, is a personal branding, which is more than just making yourself easy to find. It's advertising, I have conceptual skills, I know how to get stuff done that other people don't have. And one conceptual stuff, conceptual thing that you can clearly demonstrate by showing that you know how to optimize your brand is um, SEO. Um, and I'll give you an example of this. An example of this. Um, until about four months ago, um, my uh, course web pages, first of all, they basically all looked like this. Like, um, So if you took my class last year, even, um, this is all you got. Like this was the top. You know, welcome to 1998, maybe. Um, and also the URL would have been drfricky.net because drfricky.com is owned by some German dentist who won't give it up. But, you know, that's fine, whatever. Works for me, keeps people organized, blah, blah, blah. Of course, to find me, you had to either en enter in drfricky.net directly, or you could do a Google search for my name. Even if you did a Google search for my name and TTU and Techcom, you would still have to scroll through God knows how many search results before you got to the course homepage, right? So that was four months ago. Fast forward to now, and... Um, if you do a, let's, let's do it. Art Friggy, no quotes at all. Artfriggy.com. Look at that, I finally got on top of ratemyprofessors.com. They pay money to Google to be the top in searches of for like people who they rate. Look at that. You know what that cost me? This URL, about nine bucks a year. There you go, right? And suddenly if someone just, and it, it's, it gets even better. I mean, this is just four months and I've already made progress in this last week actually. If you just go freaky, technical, go freaky technical writer. Damn it. I've got a few student blogs that made the cut. That was about fricky technical writing. Ah, here we go. LinkedIn. Oh. Because it's, first of all, it's easy to, for Google to understand. And second of all, it's linked to artfricky.com, dotfricky.com, some other things. So, so here's the thing, um, if, especially if you're coming out of college and you show clearly that you know how to do that. I don't, I mean, it's not, you don't have to be applying for tech jobs. You can be applying to any job and it's like, wow, you know how stuff works. I think I would like to work with you, you know what I mean? That is a lot more valuable to someone who understands what's going on than listing like, I, I know HTML in your resume. I mean, everyone knows HTML because you can just memorize it. It's not the conception. It's just what people don't know is how to optimize themselves, you know, how to get stuff done. So anyway, so if you're interested in that at all, which I would be, um, there's a presentation. Um, Next Wednesday, what's Wednesday the 24th? I put a flyer right up there for it. 
uh, 5 o'clock, just down the hall in 358. Uh, search Engine Optimization 101, but it's not, I mean, looking at the flyer, it seems kind of like, oh, it's going to be about corporate, techie, SEO. No, they're going to talk about stuff like personal branding and how you make it go. And I know the folks, I work with the folks who are going to be putting on the presentation, and they're, they know what they're doing. So. I liked your first Google image, too. Mm -hmm. You didn't hear back then. Mm -hmm. Back then. <laughs> but yeah, I even managed to plaster the, the which, which is important. It is important. Um, soon some videos will be moving up the rankings. Um, yeah. It's a lot more powerful to show that you can do that in just about any industry than like, well, you can find me on Facebook. I mean, you know, so just saying. Like this one's in this room. Mm -hmm, mm hmm There you go. There's a reason why I'm going multimedia on everything. Speaking of, if you uh, miss a meeting or if you want to get a refresher on something, just go to the blog page, the MOOC page of the, uh, you know, I'm adding stuff all the time, hoping that maybe something goes viral. That would be cool. Come on, Gosling, do something for me. Uh, but anyway, so there's that. But also, for you folks, um, I'm posting examples of stuff. So I think I mentioned this.